This video will feature four woodchuck kills, one each on two different days and two on a third day. Two different air rifles were used. This one is my FX Streamline 22, and the other three woodchucks were shot with my FX Wildcat 25 Mark II with the Smooth Twist X barrel liner. The first woodchuck kill is with the FX Wildcat and it's in standard HD with no sound but it has really good slow motion. The three clips that follow this one are in full HD with sound. This woodchuck I spotted out in a small cattle pen while I was retrieving a pigeon I had just shot. I didn't even know there was a woodchuck hole out here. When I caught some movement in my peripheral vision when I looked up I saw this woodchuck only about five yards away. The footage you see here was after I had backed up to a distance of 10 to 15 yards. I took up a kneeling position behind a feed trough and rested the stock of the rifle on the edge of that feed trough so I could get a steady shot. On this particular day I was using the JSB 34 grain Mark II pellets. I took my time getting the holdover correct for such a close shot as I did not want to hit him low. I'm using three mils of holdover and here comes the shot. Perfect shot, I hit him right between the eye and the ear and he went straight down. It was only a few seconds later I noticed a bunch of movement outside of the hole and this is what I saw. This is a normal response when an animal takes a shot to the brain. There's really nothing that can be done to shorten the time it takes for these movements to stop. This reaction generally lasts for several seconds before it's all done. It's right around here when the woodchuck disappears and just a few seconds later I walked up there and recovered him from just outside his hole. All four shots in this video were right to the brain and resulted in instant death regardless of what it may look like. This is about my fourth trip to the local farm and finally got that woodchuck that I saw on the first day I believe or the second day I'm not sure. This is that woodchuck I'm speaking of. I was able to get the camera out and take a picture of him but wasn't able to get the gun ready in time before he ducked out of there. Either way I have uh, scouted this spot, camped it, um, checked on it multiple times during my visits here and have not seen that woodchuck since the first time I saw it. It was about four visits later when I saw this woodchuck for a second time. This time I had the gun in my hands and was ready to take a shot on him and here it comes to you in real time. And here's that same shot at one quarter speed. perfect shot and the pellet went straight through his skull and right into his brain. You can see it just stoned him. 22 caliber pellet uh, right to the head. And there he is. Ooh lots of blood and that's a full-size woodchuck there you can see where he was and leaked a lot of blood onto those logs so that woodchuck was right up here I was shooting from right by that guardrail other side of that tractor and you saw him go nose up and boy did he spit out a lot of blood and look at that that is unbelievable drip all over the place and then as he went over backwards Yeah, that's got to be the biggest one I've got. 
Let me put the gun down here and we'll check it out. Yeah, look at that thing. Oh, man. So I hit it on the left side of his head and it looked like all the blood came pouring out of the right ear. That's a big one. Here's a woodchuck up close. Um, it looks like a hole right there. Yep, that. You can see that there. That's definitely the entrance wound. And uh, straight into its head, and look, he's got a tick right below his eye. A huge amount of blood from this one, but with a shot like that right into the brain, there's absolutely no suffering. Even a 22 caliber air rifle will do the job on a larger animal like this. It's very important to get a good shot to the head. Different day now, the FX Wildcat. This is the first of two woodchucks in the span of about 15 minutes. I spotted this one while walking along a fence line on an access road connecting two cow pastures. I took this shot from a kneeling position resting the rifle against an electric fence post. And here comes that shot in real time. Smoked him. This replay will make it look like he was hit low, but he was actually hit right in the head between the eye and the ear, and here it comes in slow motion. Just smoked a woodchuck. It's a close shot, maybe 15 yards, 20 yards max. So I was holding over a little bit. Just a small one right there in the middle of the screen. Not sure where his hole is, but he was a good one to get because it was right in the uh, tree line right next to this sort of access road uh, all this open pasture so don't need him uh, this close to the pasture uh, digging holes out there where the cows can step in them and break their legs so we'll take a closer look at him real quick before we scout this area for some more <laughs> it's not it's not electrified, so we'll step over, and so uh, should be a clean headshot. Oh yeah, that made a freaking mess of him. Yeah, just a small one for sure. They're less than half the size and weight of the uh, last woodchuck I shot. And looks like there's this hole right there. And right at the base of a tree. Nasty. 
I don't know anyone around who eats those things. I don't eat them. Just shoot them as pests um, to help out the farmer. So we'll uh, take a cut across the pasture into those other woods and see if another one can pop up. Sure enough, less than five minutes of walking towards the other section of woods, I saw this one. Another woodchuck, 26 yards. Another small one. For a moment there, I thought I was in South Africa with Matt Dubber. This thing looks like a desi. Just the slightest amount of holdover I'm zeroed at 35. Another shot from a kneeling position. This time I was able to brace myself and the rifle against a tree. And here it comes in real time. Oh! And that same shot at one quarter speed. He got hit very hard. Good shot. And again, we're about to witness what happens to a small animal when the brain is taken out of the equation. A huge amount of blood pouring out of the ear. Oh yeah. Losing blood everywhere. Just about done. Now that was my reaction after seeing through the scope the amount of blood that was coming out. And he's done. As Hunter one would say, his lights are out. Alright, there's the one we just shot, second one for today. Another small one, about the same size as that first one. You can see he was sitting on those rocks there. There's one hole and it's another hole right here hole at the bottom of the screen and there's another one at the top of the screen so we'll keep our eyes peeled this area is prime for woodchucks I'm gonna walk out there there's a bunch more rock piles and way out there might be hard to tell on camera, but uh, there's huge rock piles out there. So, looks like I'm gonna take a walk. And there's that woodchuck. You might be able to see the entrance wound. And I did take a walk to the far end of that pasture, checking the rest of the fence lines and the rock piles, but did not locate any other woodchucks. This is number 18 with the air rifles, one with the Streamline 22, two with the Air Arms S410 TDR 22 and the rest with the Wildcat 25. On this day I did not stay until sunset, rather I left early and got home about 10 minutes before the sun was setting. And I managed to grab a couple of nice pictures about 20 miles from home. I hope you all enjoyed this video and as always, thanks for watching.